Welcome to Milwaukee's Lakeshore Park. Hi, I'm Larry Ladowski with Midwest Outdoors, and today we're gonna to do a little salmon and trout fishing. As you can see, Milwaukee is right over my shoulder. We're gonna be fishing with some guys from the Wisconsin Salmon Unlimited chapter, as well as the Kerrigan family of First Strike Fishing. How we doing? Good, good, good. Hooked up. Seen it yet or no? No, no, but... Just uh, feel weight, huh? There. I think we got about 20, 20 feet of line out at this point, and when he decides to go, he's going. Well, we got them surrounded, and you figure they'd hit the middle one, huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, nice fish. Go. Oh, is this beautiful clear water, too. Woo, that's a chunk there. He's dogging. Look at that, you can see him underneath the ice right there. <laughs> cool. That, now he's under me. Keep him down, reel him up. Yep, keep that line tight. Don't let him get any slack in it, that's for sure. Yep. <laughs> Grab the tail, right. tail first. Nice, nice. Look at that. Look at, that. Look at the kipe on that one, huh? Nice. Well, it inhaled that, didn't it? Oh, good hooks, yeah. right in the top of the mouth here. We got Dan here from Salmon Unlimited, where he's gonna tell us a little bit about this fish. Uh, nice, nice brown trout here, male, male brown. Good looking colors on this fish, real healthy. Um, now, a, do they lose their color some in the winter a little they'll, bit? They'll change their color a little bit. Because it does look a little less reddish than I'm mm -hmm. used yep, to. So. Yep. You know, every brown will be a little different as far as the color, so. That's cool. Yep. Got a, a nice, real, real neat looking fish. Got a nice kipe on that one too. Yep, for sure. Whoa! Oh, oh, yeah! <laughs> Bath time! <laughs> he says, you're welcome. <laughs> so Darren, as one of the owners of First Strike Fishing, why don't you describe it for the people that haven't seen it? All right, well, it all starts with the First Strike Bite Indicator here. It, it's just a simple little bite indicator. fits on any size fishing rod. Um, how it works is you just clip it onto the rod, the flag locks down in such a way that the wind can't blow it up on you. What really makes this work here is the two eyelets right in front of the indicator create a loop in the line. That loop in the line just comes back, hooks on the trigger mechanism, and you're set. There's and a this little... is a lock that you can tighten or loosen depending on what kind of fishing you're... Correct. There's a little spring washer underneath that orange nut, so by dialing that up or down, you can set the tripping point as light or heavy as you need based on conditions. So by lightening it up, you can make it really super light. And what all you have to do is that fish has to take that and it makes that flag pop up. And then the line's completely free. This thing's done doing its job. You just worry about catching the fish. It, and really, you made your fishing rod into a tip-up. And you do sell the combos too, right? Absolutely. We, uh, we partnered with uh, Kuma. We utilize their bait feeder reels and uh, St. Croix Mojo Ice rods. Now, why do you use the bait feeder reels? The neat thing with the bait feeder reel is we can set the flag, as we showed you. And before you walk away, you flip the bait feeder function, it's a secondary drag system, so it'll allow you to free spool with the bail closed. So when a fish hits, it's gonna pop the flag, and now it can keep running with the, with the line with the bail closed. Wow. So you don't have to worry about uh, having these real close to you or watching a slip bobber type of thing. And, and then when the fish strikes, you pick the rod when up? When the fish strikes, you can be bailing out line. As soon as you turn the crank, it locks down, and it goes to the front drag system, awesome. which is preset so you can fight the now fish. It's, now it's locked on. Absolutely. That's pretty good. That, that bowl's bending. Now folks, this is the perfect example of why the first strike works so good. Because when you're fighting big fish, I don't care if it's fighting pike, large trophy walleye, salmon steelhead like this, you need that drag and you need that rod action. If you're fighting oh, it on a hand, you oh, oh you man. <laughs> if you're oh. fighting this fish with a hand and you're and he takes a drag like that, oh. you could pull that hook right out of his mouth. Yeah. That rod tip is working so it's it's nice and flexible, and when he wants to go, that rod's bending and that drag's going. You can hear it. Absolutely. It lets you uh, fight fish like this on real light tackle. That's right. It's a lot of fun. Well, and the other nice thing about it is you can set the sensitivity, right? So you can even catch uh, panfish on this, too. Absolutely. We're catching big fish like this. Uh, you can dial it way down for crappies. Yeah, I mean, this so you fish... you can run the whole scale of This thing look, fish. looks to be at least 8 pounds. Oh, oh nice oh, fish. Oh, come on up, baby. Oh, oh he's going back down. Oh, look at him twist and turn. Oh! Don't always cooperate with me. Nope. There you go. Oh, he's... <laughs> You're going down with it! <laughs> oh, he's almost in this hole! 
Look at that. Wow, that's beautiful. Great fish. Way to go. Just in the side of the mouth, look at that. All right, there he goes, guys. Let him, look at this. All right. Oh, is that a pretty thing, huh? Nice job, Chris. Way to go, way to go, All buddy. Right. Yep. Well, as you can see, the lights of Milwaukee are coming to life. But anytime you can spend a few hours on the ice, it's well worth it, especially on a day like today. I want to thank the guys from Salmon Unlimited for joining us, Andy, Dan, Chris, and Matthew, as well as the Kerrigan family for joining us as well. And if you want more information on the First Strike rig, check out FirstStrikeFishing.com. That's F-I-R-S-T-R-I-K-E, Fishing.com. I'm Larry Ladowski, Middlest Outdoors. We'll be right back, and I'll catch you later.